Hi everyone, Rupert Goff from The Mortgage Lab here. Today I'm talking about getting a mortgage top up. But before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. All of the ad revenue that these videos generate goes to local New Zealand charities. Let's get into it. There are many valid reasons why you might be looking to pull some equity out of your property to use elsewhere. This is commonly referred to as a top up on your mortgage. The benefit of a top up is that you get cash to spend, but in return, your mortgage gets larger. Interest charged means that unless you pay it back reasonably quickly, you will end up paying back a lot more money over the life of your mortgage. For this reason, before you ask whether you can get a top up, it's important to ask yourself if it is necessary and worth the long term additional expense. Most often a top up is applied for in order to fund maintenance or improvements on your own property. This can be a good idea if the work done on the property will increase the property's value or for that matter, if it will improve your quality of life while you live there. Often these things go hand in hand. For example, installing a heat pump in the lounge or renovating an old house will improve both the property value and your quality of life. The thing to keep in mind is whether you are making changes that buyers are likely to value when you go to sell. So no landscaping your garden into a mini golf course. It'll cost a lot and likely turn off many buyers down the track. There is an instance when a top up can actually save you money. If you've got any debt that you're paying higher interest rates on than your mortgage interest rate, you could save money consolidating those debts into the mortgage. However, there can be break fees in paying off these high interest debts quicker than planned, so some calculations need to be done to identify whether it is financially beneficial to take this approach. Your mortgage broker can help you work out whether it's a good move for you. You also need to pay that consolidated debt down in the same or less time than you would have on the original debt. It's no good changing the debt from 10% per annum to the better mortgage rates, only to pay it off in 30 years rather than say 4 years. Let's talk about what the banks look at when deciding whether to approve an application for a top up. Just as when they assess a new mortgage application, the bank will look at an applicant's income including whether it is secure, other debts that may, they may have and their credit rating. The triple CFA has introduced rules that mean the banks are now very risk averse when it comes to lending. The bank can only approve a top up if they are satisfied that you can service the increased loan payments. They now require three months of bank statements that prove your current spending habits will allow for the increased mortgage payments. They'll also calculate the affordability of your mortgage top up using an interest rate of around 7% for the entirety of the mortgage. For this reason, some people that once would have had their top up application accepted are getting declined. In addition, there needs to be enough equity in the property. A bank will almost never approve a top up that will put the property over the 80% loan to value ratio LVR threshold. To ensure they are lending responsibly, the banks will ask for up to date proof of income and your financial situation. This can be frustrating for some clients as they have given this information at the time of the original mortgage, but the bank needs to be assured that this decision is informed by the customer's current circumstances. You may be wondering if the bank cares what you're using the money for. The answer is yes, to a point. The term of the top up can be shorter than the rest of the mortgage. The reason for the loan will help determine the period of the loan. The bank sets shorter periods for the top up to be paid off if the money isn't going towards growing an asset. For instance, you can get a top up for a car loan, but that debt will be structured to be paid off over 5 years as it's a depreciating asset. If you're after a holiday or new furniture, they won't necessarily decline your application, but the loan will be payable over a shorter term. We advise clients to think carefully before getting a top up for anything that doesn't grow the value of their assets. If you're borrowing the money to start a new business, that would indicate that your income is going to change, i.e. if you're going to quit your job, your current proven income is no longer relevant and so the ability to service the loan will be in question. However, if it's for a side hustle rather than your main income stream, then they're likely to look on it favourably. The key thing is to be honest. The bank is trying to do right by you financially and you won't do yourself any favours by giving false information. So how can you improve your chances of getting your top up application approved? No surprise here, you can use a mortgage broker. 
They will make sure your application is in order and that you've provided any supporting information the bank will require. They'll be able to give you an indication of the likelihood of your application being approved and advise of any action you may need to take to make your situation more attractive to the bank. There you have it. Top-ups aren't to be taken lightly, but can be great in certain circumstances. Apply long-term thinking to your decision-making and you won't go wrong. If you want to know more or are looking for advice specific to your circumstances, don't hesitate to get in touch. Talk to you soon.